Point number three. With these mindset hacks, I want you to develop the ability to work under suboptimal circumstances. And so what do I mean for that? Working under suboptimal circumstances. The only way that you're going to actually move forward in life, I've found, is by taking action. And so I used to be huge, huge, huge into reading personal development, and I still am, but I would count that as being productive, quote unquote. And so the problem with that is you spend so much time learning and reading and passively thinking about your goals that you don't actually move forward with any of them. And so I'm speaking from the heart here. This is something that I personally struggled with for a long time. And so you guys may be in a similar situation where there's something that you really care about, whether it's school or personal development or fitness or whatever it is, it can be any category, but you spend so much time being a passive observer of it rather than taking action. And this could be anything from, oh, I always follow all the fitness pages on Instagram and I see all these exercises, but I don't do any of them. You know what I mean? Like it could be anything. And so you have to be able to take action when you're not motivated, when you're tired and when you have other stuff to do. And so that's kind of, Hack number three here, learn to work under suboptimal circumstances. So one of the things that you can do is you can set some sort of a alarm or marker of when you need to have your tasks done by. And so if you have difficulty finding the impetus to get stuff done, an exercise by Mel Robbins, I believe that started this, is counting backwards. And so... What she actually recommends is when you wake up, you go like five, four, three, two, one. And when you hit one, you have to do whatever your first task is. You have to get it out of bed. You have to start executing. You don't have some like 20 hour long morning routine. You literally just launch into your first activity. And something that's something that I found really helpful because for me, obviously, whenever you're in residency, you're almost always tired. You're never not going to be tired. And so getting out of bed is the hardest part of your day, pretty much. And so... That's something that I do is I count backwards and whenever I hit one, I just start doing whatever it is I had to do for that day. The way to make that actually effective is to have already planned out the night before what you're going to do. So you don't have to have your whole day planned out. I've tried that many times and it's almost never been successful for me simply because tasks always balloon to fulfill the time at least that you allocate for them and sometimes even more. It's Parkinson's law essentially. and so. If you don't, if you don't stick the guidelines and schedules very well, like myself, you at least have to have the first task planned out. And so that's why like for this weekend, like I was telling you, I might get nothing else done, but I'm going to for sure be working on school this whole weekend because that's my first task. So if you know your first task is UWorld, for example, then you know you're going to get your, your, your UWorld done no matter what. And so that's one way that you can kind of leverage all these tactics together to make sure you at least get the most important thing done. And if you guys go through the school modules in the board section where I talk about your daily schedule for studying and your daily routine, the very first thing on there is when you construct it, you start with your worst or the most important task. And so Brian Tracy, he's a personal personal development coach to like Fortune 500 CEOs. He has a whole book called Eat That Frog. And it means that you literally do the absolute worst part of your day first because that's the thing you're going to be dreading all day and it's going to slow down all of your other tasks because you're going to find ways to procrastinate to not get it done. Like if you have an animal, you're going to find a way to take them for a walk, clean the litter box, you're going to empty your dishwasher, you're going to do all those little tasks that don't really push you towards your goals because you're procrastinating on the one thing that's going to move you forward because it's obviously the worst. It's the most painful. It's generally the most tiring, fatiguing, mental-wise, physically-wise, whatever. So... The steps by step for this here is, remember you have to work under suboptimal circumstances to take action, try the counting backwards tactic from Mel Robbins, five, four, three, two, one, and then make sure that you have something planned out the night before for your first task. This little kind of flow chart right here, you can even just write that on a sticky note if you need to remind yourself because all these things are hard to implement, but if you have an actual way to fall back, I call it a fail safe, then you know that you're going to reach your goals. So that's kind of tactic number three here is getting yourself to work under the suboptimal circumstances. 